winter. Those cold nights. Those foggy mornings. You might feel a familiar weight on your heart. A sense of longing for the night. Winter often brings what I call winter lockout. The sky becomes a blanket of clouds. The winds howl and snow blankets the ground. Right, it's day... I think it's day three of power outage. Actually, day two and a half. Probably going to be without power for another two to three more days, actually. I'm almost expecting people to, like, start running out of the doors and stuff and eating me in the hallway. <laughs> Leaving our gear gathering dust until spring. Yet amidst the frost, there are fleeting moments where the clouds part, revealing a breathtaking canvas. These rare opportunities remind us that every second counts. These rare nights we plan for to ensure things go perfectly, and it's now my turn to go down a road every astrophotographer goes down sooner or later. This morning I'm making sure my equipment works smoothly. I've never had this mount paired up with this telescope before, and I admit I'm taking a chance by experimenting tonight. My Z61 usually rides on top of my Skywatcher GTI, and it's a fast little refractor. It's equipped with an apex, which not only widens my field of view, but it allows me to image twice as fast as a stock configuration. And I always get nostalgic when I use this scope. It's the same as it was in 2020, with a EAF version 1 and a 30mm guide scope. I even have a filter wheel on it these days, which tonight is going to come in handy. The temperatures are supposed to drop into the 20s tonight, and I plan to be out there for at least six hours. With so much riding on just this one night, I want to make sure I have everything. There's no room for mistakes, no room for error tonight. Just astrophotography. And it's this one night I've been waiting for, for months. It got dark really quick. I got polar aligned. I'm actually framed up and everything focused. I'm just calibrating my scope right now, the guide scope. And can't wait. This is the maiden kind of slew for the Z61 on my AM5. I've never put this tiny scope on the AM5. So I'm just trying to get a feel for it. So far, so good. I kind of like it. It's a little ridiculous though, because it's so tiny. You know, check this out, oh, gosh. <laughs> I mean, you've seen the scopes I put on this thing. <laughs> and I got this tiny thing on here, it's great. If you can see that it is 29 degrees right now <laughs> the night's just begun at 6 30 oh my gosh All right guys it is seriously freezing right now but gosh look how beautiful it is warming up my car so I can get back in it and have it be all warm, but oh my gosh. I've been waiting for a night like this for a while. 
So far, the night is really uneventful. I just switched filters. Well, I didn't switch filters. My filter wheel changed, and now I'm shooting with the D1 filter, and it is <laughs> super epic right now. I mean, dude, check this out. Oh, my gosh. That is a wide field of view, and I've wanted to get a photo like this for a long time. So, really happy about that. I'm still going to get a little bit more RGB before the uh, moon comes out. But I can't wait to see what this looks like because I'm picking up so much dust in the area right now. Seeing is amazing. Uh, I mean, the stars are twinkling, but it's not like... They're not twinkling a lot. It's really calm out there. So <laughs> I'm really excited about this one, but it is super cold. So I've been sitting here enjoying this view right here. Orion is just in my window and I've just been looking out the window just staring at it. It's just gorgeous tonight. Still clear. I've gotten three hours of exposure so we're looking good. Check it out. You got frozen tripod setting in. <laughs> Jeez. All right, it just hit 26 degrees right now. And I'm out walking around. <laughs> but I can't help it. It is gorgeous. Now there is the Big Dipper right here. Cool thing is, in that spot, like a few months ago, the um, California Nebula or Perseus was actually in that spot. So it's just cool how things like move. I don't know, it's just super cool right now. All right, here's what it's come down to in the car, <laughs> doing flats remotely with my ASI air. My God, it's so cold outside. And not a moment too soon. Check that out. The moon just coming up over the horizon. You might be wondering how well we did last night. Well, considering I got two hours in RGB, two hours in HA, four hours integrated in O3, and two hours in S2, I would say we didn't do too bad. I was successful getting the Horsehead and Flame Nebula, and of course the Great Orion Nebula, in one epic wide field shot, including all the dust in between them. I could easily use six more hours, but that's astrophotography, isn't it? We are never done with a photo. We take pictures of the same target night after night, and in some cases, years, because we intend to improve our photo over time. I think for outsiders looking in, it's really hard to explain, but this is how our hobby can last a lifetime. And I assure you, I'm going to take all the time I need. But for now, I'm going to enjoy these six hours and be ready for the next six whenever that'll come. And for those of you out there that haven't got your clear night yet, be patient. It will come. Just be prepared when it happens.